Hi, I'm Willie Howe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification icon so you know when I publish new tips, tricks, and tutorials for configuring your technology. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. Either way, thank you to everyone for being here. Tonight, what we're going to do is we are going to look at a, a tool in the troubleshooting toolkit uh, for uh, an edge router. So sometimes in the course of troubleshooting, it becomes necessary to do some packet capture. And I'm actually working with um, someone in Mexico right now. And we're having uh, a couple issues, a couple connectivity issues. And so I'm actually having them do a packet capture. And so we can see the traffic going back and forth across the interfaces so we can see if we can uh, put this baby to rest. So let me show you a little bit about that. Here we have our edge router. This is the uh, edge router 4. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a command prompt. And I'm going to SSH into the router. All right, so now I'm at the command prompt of my router. You may have remembered another video where I said, don't fear the command line. That's right, do not fear the command line. All right, so there are two types of captures that we are gonna do. We're gonna do a capture where it's on the screen where we can watch the traffic, which will overwhelm you. Um, unless you really use filters and, and narrow it down. And then the other, we are going to output the capture to a file so that we can either look at it in Wireshark or some sort of other uh, packet capture analysis tool. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to visually see all of the traffic on ETH1. So I'm SSH'd in. I can run this as my regular user. So I'm going to do a show interfaces, Ethernet, ETH1, capture. And what this is going to do is it is going to start displaying all of the traffic. Now, the reason you're seeing so much traffic is because that happens to be the interface that I am actually SSH'd into the router on. But uh, if you look, there are other, you know, if we were to look through here, there are other uh, machines that are also sending traffic. So, but this shows you in real time what is going on. So this, this can get overwhelming. If you've got a lot of machines on your network, unless you really start paring this down, it's going to get overwhelming. The other way to do this is to actually do a TCP dump and dump this out to a file. So let's take a look at that. So as uh, to run this command, you have to run it, you have to run as sudo to run the TCP dump. And then it's going to be TCP dump. And there is um, online help for this. But uh, I'm going to do a hyphen i, and the i is for interface. So hyphen i, and it's going to be eth1. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hyphen in because I don't want the router to try to resolve names to these IP addresses. Then I, I am going to do TCP. That's the uh, part of the uh, stack that I'm working in. I'm going to do destination. Then I'm going to do port 443. And then I'm going to do a dash w which is going to write this out to a file and then i'm going to specify the name of the um of the file so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to type that in there so once again sudo tcp dump dash i for interface eth1 dash n so we do not want it to look up we don't want it to do any kind of lookups for uh, uh, ips and names and things like that tcp destination port 443 and i'm going to write to a file so let's go ahead and hit enter and you can see now tcp dump says it's listening on eth1 all right and we're just going to let this run for just just a few seconds here um and, and that's probably that's probably going to be long enough so we'll kill that and it says there were 210 packets received by the filter so we can come in here and we can look and we can see um 
we can see that the, there's the ervideo.pcap. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up uh, win SCP. I'm actually already win SCP in from when I was playing around earlier. I'll go ahead and refresh this. Here's that ER video PCAP. You can see it's 24 um, kilobytes. So I'm going to drag this over to my desktop. And real quick, I'm just going to do a quick Google search for um, an online, you know, PCAP analysis tool and uh, we'll choose one real quick and we'll upload the file all right so the first site that actually came up in the google search was packettotal.com now if you have captured traffic now i'm, I'm capturing encrypted traffic so they're really not going to be able to see a whole lot of anything about what's going on we're going to be able to see destination source source things like that um, but if you're worried about your traffic and how it's being analyzed, don't use this tool. Download Wireshark and do all of your analysis on your machine. So I'm going to go ahead real quick and I'm going to upload this file. Click there and we will select ER video. We are not a robot and it tells you your packet capture will be made public upon analysis. So if you do not I repeat, if you do not want this packet capture in the public, stop right now, go download Wireshark, run it locally, because this becomes part of the public. And I, at this point, I'm not worried about anything that's in here. So they are starting our analysis. All right, so here is what the file looks like. And we have connections. We have SSL uh, certificates here. We have strange activity. It seems to have flagged something that it, it thinks is, is strange, but possible split routing. It's got some, some things over here. But anyway, here's our connections. So you can see that we were able to capture these. Now, in the uh, particular traffic that I am capturing uh, with my customer, I am capturing DNS traffic. So um, because I, I need to see what is happening specifically with DNS traffic. So here I captured port 44. Three. So I, you know, this is public. If you want to see what we just captured, um, you know, I don't know, I don't know who on my network is dot two thirty one. Don't know what any of these IPs are. Don't know. So that is uh, here. We can we can do this um, real quick. So we could do a lookup. Open this in the search. And you can see that I captured it. Lots of other people have apparently captured that as well. So we can do a who is lookup on that IP. And it looks like it goes to Cloudflare. So, and I don't know. You know, like I said, I don't know where any of these other goes. This probably goes to Cloudflare as well. Um, let's see. Who's, who is this one? I don't know if that's... Uh, so that's Amazon. So it's a pretty cool, pretty cool tool. But if you need to, you know, capture traffic for analysis from an edge router, it doesn't get any easier than the way that I just, I just showed you. There is a, t a tool in the toolbox but you can you know you're limited to like 50 packets or or something like that but if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and share please follow me on twitter and instagram if you need it consulting for networking voiceover ip 
security, any of the things that you need help with IT related, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form and someone will contact you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to a vendor who can. I will tell you just in the last week, we have referred two customers to other vendors because things were outside of our wheelhouse. So we are helping hook those folks up with vendors in their area. If you would like to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is down below. If you'd like to buy any of the gear you see here on Amazon, the link is down below. Once again, I want to thank all of you, and I'll see you in the next video.